So I would like to invite you to close your eyes, release all the tension from your body, relax your head, relax your shoulders, relax your arms and your hands, relax your chest, relax your back. Relax your abdomen, relax your thighs, your knees, your calves, relax your feet. And as you concentrate on the energy within your feet, allow yourself to feel, sense or experience the connection between yourself and our planet, our Mother Earth, our Gaia. There is an energy field that connects you to this partner. And allow your golden heart to radiate love, gratitude, appreciation for our planet, our beautiful planet that provides us with every single resource we have to enjoy a beautiful life on this planet. Thank you Gaia for being here. Thank you Gaia for loving us. And as we express our gratitude and appreciation for the planet, allow yourself to receive the pulsating wave that is coming up through the planet into your being as the planet thanks you, acknowledges you, Look at all you have achieved. Look at this moment that is happening now and all that has happened to bring humanity to this point where we are shifting our consciousness. The planet has such a deep love for you. You, against all odds, have made it to this point. And allow yourself to go deeper into the earth. Because inside the earth, there are many energy grids. And one of these grids within the earth, we call the ancestor grid. All the ancestors that walked this earth before us, their wisdom and knowledge is there available to us on this ancestor grid and so let us give honor and thanks to all the ancestors that have walked this earth before us and let us with gratitude and appreciation receive and accept the wisdom and knowledge that they wish in this moment to share with us. Thank you, ancestors, for being here. Thank you, ancestors, for loving us. And take a deep breath. And exhale slowly. And allow yourself to simply relax into the arms of the cryon entourage that is here in support and love of you. Greetings, dear ones. I am cryon of magnetic service. There would be those who say, well, this is no place for a, a new age channel. 
what are you doing in, in something so profound and so sacred, which be the celebration of the earth from the indigenous? And I will say, dear ones, alter your perspective for just a moment and understand something. Channeling is a word you have decided to use for a process that is ancient. The ancients who walked this planet did this. They did it in their own ways and there were many names for what you see here. Being in touch with the other side, a dimensionality that is not yours, is not new. Most of the ancients did this through their chiefs, through their shamans, and they did it in a way that they said, we are now in touch with our ancestors. So how is this different from the other side of this veil of your own dimensionality? I am here to give you profound information about you. And you'll say, well, where does it come from? It comes from the grids of this planet. It comes from the sentience, the intelligence of your partner. It comes from the ancestors who would love to stand up right now and shout to you. Good job. You're on the way. It's what we predicted would happen. There is no greater wisdom on this planet than that from those who have lived, died, come back, done it again, in the form of the wisest indigenous who ever lived. These are the ones who sensed things way before there was an electronic system to do it for you. These are the ones who took a look at the stars and intuited what was happening, did the mathematics, perhaps, long before telescopes. These are the ones who carried the wisdom, who predicted today. This is a message from them. That's what the channeling is. It's not new. And here's what they say. The predicted winds of change for the human race as it is today are here. The winds blow from the past to the future in very interesting ways. And the stars foretell it and the alignments help it. But that wind cannot be stopped. And that wind is an awakening. It's an awakening to greater ideas and perceptions. It's an awakening to an intelligence that should have been there, but was suppressed perhaps, but cannot be stopped. And it's all around you, oh modern ones. It's around you. Have you noticed? It's not just for the ones who are interested in, in sacred things. It's for everyone. And it's happening all around this planet. There are so many layers starting to awakening a starting to awakening, but it cannot be stopped. And what I mean by that, like a snowball that rolls down the hill, it collects wisdom as it goes and more and more awaken and more and more see a truth that has always been there. Let me ask you this. As you look at your own planet, at your own modern societies, and you see the ignorance that has happened in the pollution of the planet, the results of it, and you see this. Now you have more humans on the planet than ever, billions. Why then in that situation, suddenly would you awaken to what you've done? It's counterintuitive. In fact, many in the past predicted you wouldn't even be here today because of the amount of pollution. And now that you have more people, it's counterintuitive for an awakening to say, stop doing it. And yet that is what has happened. So just marginally, there is an awakening with industry, with others, with all the things modern that say, 
be careful of the planet. It's counterintuitive that any modern society would have that kind of an awakening right now with more people, with more resources needed. And yet that's what's happened. There are certain societies, including the one my partner lives in, who is awakening to something that is, that is absolute core truth that the Europeans have always known. Eat better. Get rid of the preservatives. Go find organic things from the garden. How long did that take? Perhaps 200 years or more? What I'm saying is this. There is a wisdom that is starting to change on this planet at the core level. Perhaps you've not realized that these things, again, counterintuitive. Why should all human beings suddenly start an awareness that they haven't had before? What is it? What it is, is the cycle. You're in a new cycle, dear ones, and the ancestors have told you it was coming. As I speak to you, the earth is experiencing a pandemic. If I told you it was right on schedule, would it be too controversial for you? You've been forced to take a look at yourselves to stop the planet, perhaps for almost a year. When you stop the planet for a year and you stop doing the things that were normal to you, there's a lot of introspection that goes on. There's also a lot of fear. There's a lot of change and some of it, dear ones, is benevolent. Systems that should have been stopped a long time ago will stay stopped. Systems that were just beginning that couldn't get anywhere because of the old systems are now free to proceed. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, there's more. Suddenly, in certain societies, there's an awakening of injustices that have been here since the society began. They're now being examined. Regular human beings, not necessarily the ones in spirituality or listening to this program, are making wiser decisions. They want a stop to certain kinds of things. All of you know about the corruptions that are in government and always have been. They are intuitively created from the system of government. Things happen the way they happen because of the power structures all over the planet and yet that is beginning to change some will say well I haven't seen it yet you're right but you will that is all there it's ripe for the wild cards as I say to come forward those who perhaps you didn't think would come forward which will make these changes dear ones there are so much going on injustices between the genders that have always been there. Suddenly, in certain societies, there's objections. Suddenly, things that have been carried on, literally for decades and decades and decades, in a normal way, are no longer acceptable. Did you notice? There is much coming, dear ones, and you're going to see it, and the predictions that I have given, all are about awakening. Awakening of a consciousness a consciousness that is not just wiser, but higher. A high consciousness is a one that will not tolerate things of the kinds of things that have been going on on this planet for a very long time. And it's not just a few. Look for this. And that would be in the masses that will begin to raise up and say, we will not allow this, we will not tolerate this, and they'll be pointing their fingers to the leaders. And they'll say to their governments and their officials, and their shamans, and their priests, and their rabbis, they will say, it's time for this to change. Dear ones, all over this planet, there's one thing happening right now that is ripe 
for exposure. There are many of these, but the one that is closest and the ancestors are smiling because it's time to correct this is the slavery of children. Rampant. It is much more than you think it is. In certain societies, it's easier and it is more rampant. In certain societies, it's not as easy, but it's still there. Sexual slavery, farming young women actually in birth to be slaves. It sounds barbaric and it is part of your modern society. And it is well-funded, dear ones. And it's unconscionable for the times. The shift is here. And I will tell you that the exposure finally of this is at hand. That is a high consciousness move because that's been around oh, 4,000 years. Truly, things that are happening in the dark are starting to be illuminated. This is what the teaching has always been. The human who sits in the chair was exposed to me in 1989. Questions were always there. Why are you here? Why now? What should this be? And the answer has always been the same for the procession, for the wind of change that may or may not happen. Your scripture told you you would not make it past the year 2000. Go look, go take a look. That's your modern scripture. But the indigenous of the planet, they said there was a chance. They gave the whole idea of a shift, of a cycle, a big one that was coming. It did right on schedule as predicted from the stars that they saw. And you sit in it. Question, do you accept this? Number two, what will you do with it? I speak even to the chiefs and the shamans of the indigenous right now. Your ancestors are asking you to be patient with all those who are not of your tribe, to be patient, be, be circumspect and allow perhaps for traditions to bend a little, to allow those who are not aware of what you're aware of to be in the fold of knowledge release some of the secrets the beauty of Gaia some of the traditions that are now needed for those who never had them before this is what the wise men and women bring to this planet and it's time to share them this is the message of the day it's huge it's enormous it's benevolent it's joyful you are moving into something that very few expected unless you've been watching and listening to those who came before. This is the message I have had now for 31 years and will continue to have. And so it is.